Hello everyone, so in this video we are going now to take a look at uh, edge detection uh, using first the, the Sobel filter and then in the next video the uh, Kelly edge detector. <coughs> so uh, going to the notebook, um, we have loaded here just the uh, working.jpg uh, image, so grayscale uh, image. And so the basic idea of the uh, Sobel uh, filter is to use uh, 2D kernel convolution in order to, to detect uh, the uh, edges in, in an image. <coughs> and the, the, the way that, um, that we do that is that uh, we are going to take two uh, different uh, 2D kernels. One kernel which will uh, attempt to highlight horizontal borders so this uh, GY uh, uh, kernel here, which has uh, so one a line with minus one, minus two, minus one, then a line, then a row of zeros, and then a row of one, two, one. So this will um, have a strong uh, convolution response wherever there is a uh, horizontal uh, border, and then we take the transpose of this uh <coughs> of this kernel to get <coughs> a kernel that will be uh, sensitive to. Uh, vertical uh, borders. So this time uh, just uh, the same, but um, with the, uh, the the columns uh, um, minus one, minus two, minus one, etc., etc. So one will uh, tend to have a response that is high where, where there is horizontal borders, and the other where when there is uh, a vertical uh, border. So what we do is that we first uh, do the convolution of the image by uh, these two uh, kernels. And this will uh, give us, so here I'm taking the absolute value of the response. So with the absolute value, um, I, I have basically the strength of the, uh, of the border um, for the horizontal border filter and the vertical uh, border filter. So if I uh, remove the, uh, the absolute value, I can see that some of those um, are negative, some are positive, and then the, 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 the gray uh, bits are, the, uh, are close to, to, to zero. So the uh, positive or negative will, will tell us if uh, the uh, lighter part is, uh, for, for instance, for the horizontal filter, if the lighter part of the, of the, uh, of the image is uh, at the top or at the bottom. Uh, and with the vertical filter, it will depend if it's on the left or on the right. So with the uh, absolute value, we just say, look at if there is uh, uh, a border or not. Um, the next thing that we can do is that we can combine this information and we can uh, derive two things from the um, from these resulting uh, uh, images. So these resulting border uh, image. The first one is that we can take the um, um, the kind of the norm of uh, of the um, gradient uh, vector, so we can look at uh, this uh, j uh, x j y as a gradient uh, vector, and we can take the norm of that vector by doing the square root of uh, j y squared plus j x squared, and this will give us uh, the uh, uh, the kind of strength of the border in general without uh, uh, removing any uh, information about the uh, orientation. And we can also look at the orientation of the border uh, alone by looking at the uh, angle that this uh, vector uh, makes, taking the uh, arc tangent of uh, jy by uh, jx, we get the, um, the orientation of the uh, border. And uh, as we can we can see uh, the, the the result here with the um, the energy so the, the sorry the um, the norm of this uh, gradient vector I get uh, just a border image so this is just the uh, kind of edge detector uh, where I have for each pixel the uh, strength of the gradient uh, in that uh, in that pixel so I will have both the uh, horizontal vertical and diagonal uh, edges that are shown. Uh, here um, and uh, with this, uh, this, this uh, the angle the angle here uh, I will have something that is um, very noisy um, so I have here a scale first that goes to from minus pi to uh, plus uh, pi and I have a signal that is very noisy in the places where there are uh, there is a very uh, few um, 
there are very few borders. So in here, the, the, the strength of the, of the border is very small. And so basically, the orientation will be mostly uh, random. But, but wherever we have a, an actual uh, strong uh, signal for the border, typically it will be associated to, um, you know, with a uh, relatively uh, clean uh, signal for the, for the angle, where the, the, the angle remains the same uh, all along the, uh, the border. So this can allow us to uh, detect specific um, border, uh, borders with specific uh, orientations. Um, so this uh, filter that we, here we, we re-implemented with the uh, convolution um, method, we can also directly use the uh, Sobel uh, filter from circuit image, which will give us the, uh, the, uh, the same uh, result. So it does not give us the, the, uh, the angle information. Um, I'm not sure if we can return it. No, we cannot, uh, we cannot get the, the uh, the information from the uh, of the orientation, but we we do get the uh, the information of the strength of the uh, border. Um, so this is a, a filter that works for grayscale images. So if you want to uh, get the, the the result for um, uh, a grayscale, uh, sorry for for a color image, then we have uh, basically two options. The first one is that we can compute the, um, the, the Sobel uh, uh, filter independently for each, um, for each channel. So we can compute uh, an image of the red borders, the green borders, and the blue uh, borders, so in each separate channel, and then combine uh, the information to get, um, to get a, a full um, border image. So this is uh, what I've done here. Uh, another uh, possibility would be to uh, first convert the image from RGB to grayscale. So this will um, be the same as converting to HSV and taking only the uh, value. Um, and I can... Uh, so get only the, the, the grayscale uh, value. And then in that case, I can just uh, take the result of the Sobel filter on uh, that image. And I will have a, a fairly uh, similar result, but this time from the uh, grayscale image. So uh, the Sobel filter itself is uh, always computed on the uh, grayscale image. So that's it for this uh, video. In the next one, we'll talk about um, the, Kenny, uh, the Kenny Edge detector, which, uh, which uses uh, also the, the, the Sobel filter, but to get really uh, a binary output of if there is a border or not in the image. And we'll uh, take a look at how that works in the next video.